I think it's great that uh, uh, Ashley and Tyler, uh, you know, have uh, taken time out of their life to work with these young people, uh, girls and boys, and just to see what hockey's all about like that too. And they can play it like in their street clothes and on their shoes like that too. So I think I think this is great for the community of Fort Wayne. There's always been willing and able to do this in uh, Fort Wayne and the surrounding area. Okay, and then as far as the letters, I know, you, I know George said he actually, you got him involved. I I think uh, really they've done a great job like that too, reaching out to the people and doing things like that too to the young people, you know, to get them interested. And in sports is good because you meet other people, you meet other parents like that too, and the girls and boys meet other girls and boys, and it's a good combination. Right, last question: Is there uh, anything about this year's Comets team that, that stands out? Anything that impresses you? What, what do you think of the team this year? Well, I said this the first night when the Comets played. I was telling Kaylee Schrock that this team don't think they can play the game. They want to play the game. And I said this was going to be a good hockey team, just the way their presence was out there on the ice and what they did. And I really feel they're going to go a long way in the playoffs like that, too. Gary Graham has done a great job as a coach. In fact, I coached him when he was 10 years old in Parkport Hockey. And he was on the championship Northside team in 97 with her grandson, Andy Long. And Bob Chase's grandson was on the team, and the two coaches were Reggie, Reggie Primo's son. So it's really kind of a neat thing to see. But this year's team, uh, I just it was amazing with what they can do like that too, and with the guys being called up and down like that too. That's that's tough, but they've done a great job. Is there any players that stood out to you from this year's team? Any players? Specifically, I, I really uh, Eric Pye, he was up there, he's come back, and then Sid, Mike Embach, and you've got big Cody Saul in defense. The whole team, I think, has contributed in one way or the other. You don't have to get goals and points, but if you're out there just to do things to participate, but uh, these guys have been up and down like that too. Sid got that five goals, and he's only the fifth guy in the history of the commons to do it. I did it in '62, so I congratulated him about three weeks ago, and I said, You joined the five goal club. Coach Barry is 10 years old. How was it when he was uh, a young thing when you first coached him in soccer? Or soccer? Hockey. hockey. He was 10, 10 years old in Parkport Hockey. I coached him out there like that, too, with our grandson. So, And then he was on North Side's team like that, too, on it. So, but I give him a lot of credit because he volunteered for coaching. And it's, really, it's a tough job coaching, win or lose. Well, I think you did a good job, Channel 15, like that, too, over the years, like that, too. And I think you're interested in the sports and you cover a lot of it like that, too. And so I really feel, you know, it's been a great job like that, too. So keep up the good work.